These trends is proudly brought to you by Vanguard Assurance, Leap Tomato Paste. Hello, good evening and welcome to Beast Trends TV show. My name is Enyonam K. Makwanda. My costume is by Impressive Design. Follow her on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter as Impressive Design. My makeup is by Ivy's Golden Traditions Makeup. She's also on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And my hair is by Sam's Place Beauty Saloon. She's also on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. This program is made possible by Vanguard Assurance, the third time CIMG Hall of Fame award winning insurance company. They have tailor made products just to meet your needs and they pay their claims promptly. So, when you want an insurance company to insure your property, Vanguard Assurance, we always stand by you. And leave tomato paste, of course, your light soup, your love, gravy. If you want to prepare any meal, I recommend leave tomato paste. Guess what? Tonight we are discussing online business. In recent times, a lot of entrepreneurs are investing into online business. It's booming, they're making money, but hey, you need to know more about it so you could venture into that line of business. And this particular one is focus towards real estate, buying, selling, connecting two owners together to do business. And that is what Mr. Calvin Nyami, the co-founder and CEO of Mikasa.com is here to share with us about that. Before the conversation begins, let's take a quick look at his profile. Kelvin Nyame is a holder of math degree from KNUST in 2010. His entrepreneur journey started during his second year in school when he teamed up with two friends to start an internet cafe business and at the same time running a remedial school. He is a product of Meltwater. Kelvin Nyame is currently the co-founder and CEO of Mikasa.com. These trends will be right back. Fire. Hello sir, this is Vanguard Assurance. We just got a notification of a fire outbreak at your premises. I want to assure you that the fire service has been notified and the Vanguard team has been dispatched and they'll be at your premises soon. Thank you sir. With the Vanguard Digital Fire Insurance, you need not to worry about getting a fire report. Vanguard will facilitate the processing of the fire report and speed up your claim process. No need for you to chase any fire report or fill any form to initiate your claim. Switch to the Vanguard Digital Fire Insurance now. It's digital, it's fast, and very convenient. Vanguard Assurance, Save Time C IMG Hall of Fame Insurer. I don't want to leave tomato paste in Ghana. Ah! Aha! This is what I call a journey. Secret nani L E A P leap. Some one when him say leap tomato paste they do an idea. It was superb and palatable taste. Na a small beer so. There were large and small sizes for chop bars, restaurants, and in fee fee. For bulk purchase, contact 033-209-5314 or 050-141085. So welcome back. That was my guest for today's discussion on online business, specifically targeted at the real estate business happening here in Ghana. Mr. Nyami, thank you so much 
for joining us on Be Strand TV show. Thank you. Anya. Finally. Yeah. Hey. It's been a while. You've been trying to reach me. You know. Yeah. Thanks for making time. Sure. sure. Now, Mikasa.com. Enlighten us a bit about this platform and what it does. So yeah, I mean, as I like I keep saying, it's a very simple platform. It uh, you, you want to see it like a, a website that's focused on real estate. So anyone who has a property and they're looking for a buyer or they want somebody to come and rent it, whether it's a land, it's an office space, it, it's a house, this is a platform to place it. And we guarantee leads. So basically, it's just a website to connect to people who are interested in either buying or renting in the real estate. Yeah. I keep asking one question. A lot of people would want to have a business that if somebody wants to transact business with you, he walk into your space and say, hey, I want this and I want that. How is this going? How long have you been in it? And how smooth and rough has it been for you? So, I mean, I think it's been, it, and again, it's like a rocky stick, you yeah. know, kind of growth for every startup. You know, you start small, mm -hmm. you have big projections, you have plans to execute you look for people to work with you to execute these plans. And then at a point in time, you know, you, you want to, you know, take a step back and go back to the drawing board and re strategize or look at your business model again, see what can you change, what lessons have you learned, how can you implement, you know, the new things from the lessons or the mistakes you've made to 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 to, to change the path of the business. So this we started this around 2013 from MEST. Uh, myself and two other co-founders straight from university had zero experience in starting a business. I, you know, read maths, my co-founder read engineering, and that co-founder also read um, 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 psychology, sorry. Yeah, so we met at MEST. MEST took us through two years of training. One was um, how to pitch to investors, how to understand business, how to you know, solve problems, and then how to take their business from that concept to the market, you know. So this was the first year of MEST, and the second year was actually now executing, so going to the market and starting, you know, startups, small, small startups, and learning how to, to grow that startup. And then we got to a stage where we had to, you know, focus on one idea, and then we came up with um, the real estate market um, idea. And the main problem was um, we, I mean, one, it was, it looked like a, a viable business, right. you know, if, if you, take a look at the global market mm -hmm. and look at Asia, look at US, look at uh, um, Europe, you, it's easy to see that other businesses or other ideas have started similar and they've managed to succeed. Right. And so we were looking at how do we bring that model here mm -hmm. and solve the local problem, which is one is data. You know, somebody wants to buy a house, want to rent a house. How do they get, you know, adequate information to, to guide them? Mm -hmm. Or if I find myself in, in dealing with uh, an agent which, which is not you know, uh, verified or, or trustworthy, how do I take myself out of that situation not to lose too much money? So, and then in connecting all of these dots, we, I mean, it was so obvious and again, no brainer that technology could come in, even though it was, we, we thought it was slightly early, early or earlier stages, we thought technology could come in to, to make all of these dots connect. And so we built a platform um, like this where, we give access to people who had properties to list, and then we give also opportunity to people who are looking for properties to come on and connect. So that's how we started, yeah. You said it so easily, but how easy it is for you to get those two people coming together, the property owners mm -hmm. and those who want to buy? How easy was that for you? So, um, I mean, I think there's some part of, you know, uh, secret sauce in there where that's obviously why we are number one in the, in the market. I mean, I, I can't say it's uh, entirely was an easy road. So I can cite an example. When we first started, I became a real estate agent. And again, the market is so open, it's not very regulated. So anybody could get up and say, I want to start a business as a realtor, a brokerage firm. So I became one and the, the two main goals was to understand the whole cycle. You know, if I had a property today, you know, which options would I want to, you know, place them on? And then if I did that and I got a lead, how would I go through the whole process? So I wanted to understand the problem from my own experience. And then at the same time, try to connect with the stakeholders. So a lot of the agents, you know, became my friends. A lot of the developers became my friends. And so when later on they found out that we had built a platform to help them, you know, sell or rent properties, they, they thought that was a conflict of interest. So they, because they saw me as a realtor, right. so they thought I was going to take their properties yeah, and, and exactly. business away. So I think, you know, in, in that, perspective the markets even though it wasn't very regulated helped me because I could ent I entered easily to become a realtor and then through that I learned a lot from the process to 
to, to apply. Yeah. So viewers, you're still watching these trends TV show. I'm Enyon I'm K Markwanda and today I'm hosting Mr. Kelvin Yame, co-founder and CEO of Mekasa.com, an online platform that is here to uh, bring together buyers and sellers who want properties to buy, be it a land or a complete building. All you have to do is just go on their platform and you get all of that. You know what? This is the link up edition and all we do is to give an opportunity to an SME who is also interested in this line of business already in it to merge with a business giant like Mr. Kelvin. He's small but he's doing big things, yes. <laughs> so let's take a look at um, the SME who we selected to meet Mr. Kelvin today on the show, Prince Norbert Dake. He is the CEO for Nordak, Nordiac or Nordek. Nordiac Estate Limited. When he comes here, I'm sure he'll correct the name. So let's take a look at his profile whilst he joins us on search. The conversation continues after he joins us. Take instead, we'll be back shortly. Prince Norbert Dake holds a degree in marketing from Gimpa. His entrepreneurship journey began in 2017 when he decided to partner a friend to start Nordiac Estate Limited, which is poised to providing affordable housing. Prince Norbert Dacke is presently the co-founder and CEO of Nordiac Estate Limited. Be strength to be right back. I don't want to leave tomato paste in Ghana. Ah! Aha! Uh -huh. This is what I call a journey. Secret nani L E A P Leap. Some one when you leap tomato paste the Diana dear. It was superb and palatable taste. Na a small beer so. There were large and small sizes for chop bars, restaurants, and a fee fee. For bulk purchase, contact 033-209-5314 or 050-141085. Welcome to the all-new segment of B Strength TV show, B7. In this new addition to the show. We will give you a peek into all the upcoming business seminars, summit, and product launch in and around the city. We will furnish you with all the details of the impending programs from the time to the venue and a short clip detailing the speakers of all the events as well as what you would require to participate in that event. To get details of your forthcoming forums, summit, and product launch ad on B Strength TV show, Please contact us on 0554-830-431. Welcome back from taking a quick look at the profile of Prince Nolbert Dake. He's here with us and the conversation will start right away. Thank you so much for joining Thank you. us. Thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. So, Mr. Nyame, you meet Norbert and Norbert, you meet Mr. Kelvin. Nice to meet you. Yes. Hi, friends. Nice, nice to meet you. So, he is also into the real estate um, sector, but he deals more with lands. The lands for now, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, he wants to know more of uh, what opportunities, advantages are available to him till he start building his property. So he's all yours. Okay. Ask all the questions you want to ask. All right. Thank you once again for having me and uh, I'm grateful to be meeting you today. Now, we started, not that started a couple of months ago. It's a, it's a fresh startup, if I may put it so. And then you know the industry already when it comes to lands and issue in Ghana. And uh, we want to just find out from you what we can do to access your platform to be able to also get our lands there because we are, we are now starting so we just have the lands for now to be able to sell yeah so i mean congrats for you know taking that bull step and then it's, a, it's a long journey of uh, stress you know sometimes loneliness and i'm going to say just keep going but what you can do i mean we have a lot of clients that are similar you know um, like you and 
either focusing on you know rental properties or land or some are just you know doing investment property so um, it's good that you've also you know clarified the niche that you want to you know target so the objectives probably is very clear for you what i can say is if you typically walk to us and say you want to do business with us um, the most important thing that we consider or we want from you is that trust and that security because we bring a lot of leads or clients to our site who are looking to buy properties who have budgets some for the first time it's more like their life savings and you know we want to make sure we connect them to the right people so for us security is key and um, would require um, either an id card so the passport the driver's license anything that you know we can use to to identify you or maybe a business certificate if you do have one so that seekers can trust that they are dealing with somebody that you know um, the long term, you know, their, their money is safe. So that's one aspect. Second aspect is we have a, a, a personal team that will take you through, you know, your objectives again. They want to understand what your goals are, your short term goals, long term goals, what do you want to achieve, you know, what kind of clients do you want to go after, what's your marketing strategy? Because sometimes you come with your own strategy, but then we want to see how we can align with that strategy or maybe completely, you know, bring new ideas on board if you're open to it. So we will look into that and, and then have a package that will suit you know those objectives because the main goal is we want to help grow your business from a to b so that's what we'll do thank yeah. you talking about trust i think is very key when it comes to business yeah. and then uh, what kind of land do you accept because you know you can go in there get a land a couple of months down the line you've been chased by langas other family members will yeah. be chasing here and there so what due diligence do you expect from the person who's coming on board to be able to do before you accept them on board so typically, you know, and again, it's uh, something that we all assume should be the norm. You should have the document, you know. I know sometimes there are instances where landlords are very strict or very, you know, uh, particular about releasing documents to agents and they want to, you know, keep it to themselves. Or sometimes the document is with the family, uh, you know, and it's not with one person. So we like to hold you, the realtor, or the person representing the property accountable and make it easy for authorities to come in and assist, you know, in, in cases where, you know, unfortunately, you know, we, you know, we have to bring in a law to, to help investigate. But we want to deal with you on that trust level. But then beyond that, we have to verify you. That's when we need your ID card. Um, but we, again, allow you to upload this document. And then when seekers are asking for more information, we, we, we make it available to them so that they know that, you know, there's, there's a lot of transparency in the whole process. One other key thing I want to find out from you is um, do you necessarily have to have an office? Maybe ask, do we need to have an office, a space where if you are looking for us, you can get us before you get us on board or you can just be there as yeah. those That's agents? Our office. <laughs> yes. You know, now yeah. the world is left, it's online. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, Wherever the head fits. fits yeah. So, again, all of these are you know, ideal cases. You know, it will be nice for a startup to have an office, but we know the cost that comes with it. You know, so the good thing about real estate is allows, you know, sharing. Mm -hmm. And what we've seen from the different segments of clients we work with, there's this group of clients where they have shared office spaces. So one or two realtors can come together and, and say, let's rent one space and use for our business. Because sometimes the kind of uh, clients you are after or the kind of, you know, brand you want to build would compel you to have a, a space, you know, to, 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 to support that brand. And you want to bring somebody to the office for them to know you before they can transact business with you. So I can advise for, you know, new uh, entrants who are coming in to try and partner. If you don't have the resource, I mean, you can find one or two realtors to share a uh, working space or maybe find a, a bigger brand and work under them for a while while you gather money to do that. But then the beauty of technology, you know, you, you can easily be located now, you know, so we don't naturally have to have a, a fixed place. Um, once we have the, the, the documents that we ask of you, we, we can, you know, do some business, yeah. Um, with your kind of business, yeah. you know, SMEs or young entrepreneurs, yeah. when I have some 20,000 I want to start a business, mm -hmm. I'm already projecting how much profit I'm going to make. Yeah. With your kind of business, mm -hmm. how soon or how long will it take me to start making my profit. Viewers, you're still watching the Beast Trends TV show. Let's take a look at the Vanguard Assurance Safety Tips segment. When we come back, Mr. Nyame will answer that question. How soon or how late will it take me to make my profit when I venture into his kind of space? Vanguard Assurance Safety Tips. Brought to you 
by Vanguard Assurance. Um, rains are very wonderful things. We all expect it. Without the rains, our crops will not grow. And as a country that relies heavily on natural rains, it's a welcome thing. But me and you all know very well that our drains are not well done. So whenever it rains, the normal rain continues steadily for three days. We witness a lot of devastation in form of flood that has happened over the years. And now we can't even call it risk. It becomes like a certainty. It's happening every year. And lives are lost, properties are destroyed. And about two years ago, there was a horrifying incident reported where someone um, his dearest property was a goat and it was going to be washed away by the, 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 the flood. And in an attempt to rescue it, because you can't see the most valuable thing washed out, he swam in the, in the flood and the result he himself died. So it's, it's a serious thing. There's a lot of attempt now to clean the city, but the gutters are still not distilled. So to answer your question, from an insurance perspective, there's a flourish, flourish that can cause Billions of properties to be destroyed, personal effect, houses, even lives can be lost. Vanguard Assurance Safety Tips Brought to you by Vanguard Assurance This is Vanguard Assurance. We just got a notification of a fire outbreak at your premises. I want to assure you that the fire service has been notified and the Vanguard team has been dispatched and they'll be at your premises soon. Thank you, sir. With the Vanguard Digital Fire Insurance, you need not to worry about getting a fire report. Vanguard will facilitate the processing of the fire report and speed up your claim process. No need for you to chase any fire report or fill any form to initiate your claim. Switch to the Vanguard Digital Fire Insurance now. It's digital, it's fast, and very convenient. Vanguard Assurance, Save Time C IMG Hall of Fame Insurer. So welcome back. That was it about the Vanguard Assurance Safety Tips segment. You're still watching the Be Strength TV show. So before we went on the break, yeah. I was asking, I have my 20,000 or my 30,000 yeah. and after watching your interview is, is that Ghana City so it doesn't really matter USD. you know it doesn't really matter, it doesn't really matter okay. you know <laughs> so I, I convinced myself you know yeah. what I think I can do this and then I buy my laptop and get an office space and stay start how soon am I expecting to get my profit yeah so I mean you I was enjoying this interview until you brought in you know how when we are going to be profitable and all of this I mean right. it's it's a so yeah, I, I can say yes, you know, when you have 20,000, when you have whatever money you have, you know, don't, you know, um, limit yourself. So far as you found a, a problem you want to solve, I think you should test it out, you know. So um, the first step is, is this business viable? Is this really a problem that people are facing? And if people are really facing this problem, how many of these, you know, uh, similar problems are being faced by, you know, X number of, of, of other uh, maybe client or, or users. So you want to make sure you, you go through that whole process really, really well and, and understand whether this is worth spending time on. Because I think one thing people don't realize, it's, it's not sometimes not about the money, it's the time that you're going to spend. On average, it could take you three, four years to actually know that the business, if you found a business model that would work. I see. So are you, it takes time. It takes time for yeah. just the business model to know that, okay, Yes, the cycle is complete because the cycle could have different variables. Could be, have I solved one problem? Is there another problem? Yes. You know, are people seeing value? Yes. Okay, can I charge now? No. You have to wait for another year to, 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 to create more value. You know, so that whole cycle could take you on average three to four. And some businesses take them forever and they have to exit. You know? Mekasa is doing a lot of great things. You, you are solving a lot of problems yeah. for property owners, making it so easy for them to get their property sold and all that, getting in the right links. But with your line of business, I think you don't really have challenges. Is there anything you'd want government to pay attention to and address 
for you. Before you answer that question, viewers, let's take a look at our business court segment. And when we come back, Mr. Nyami will answer that question for us. Take and stay. Don't go anywhere. City Life Management present Time Out with Heroes for graduates and graduating students on the team, entrepreneurial and motivation for interaction. 18 key speakers drawn from business, finance, research and academia have been built for the occasion. Dates Saturday 30th June 2018, time 9 a.m. prompt, venue Oceanic Beach Resort, Kolekono. Participant will have free photo shoot, certificate, and networking opportunity. For more information, call us on 0246-054-092. Time out with heroes. You don't want to miss this experience. Welcome back from taking a look at the Business Code segment, it's still the Beast Trends TV show. And let me remind you of our new segment on the show, BSEB. It's a segment that gives highlight to all forums, uh, business seminars, product launch that is going on in around the city. So if you have your new product you're about to launch or you have a business seminar uh, that is coming uh, up, just call us and let us know all the details will be there to cover it and then come and air it on our show for a very cool package so all you have to do is just reach out to us uh mr nyami yes yeah. yeah, so i was asking you in your space yeah. for all that you've told me i feel like your business is so smooth you don't really have any headaches are there anything you'd want government to dress for you well, yeah obviously i mean there are genuine reasons why people are not buying more properties, which is very strange because ideally locals should be able to own houses properties. more mm -hmm. and then it, people are coming in rent from yeah. them. But then again, you look at the other side of the market where you know people don't have too much incentive to lend because again, the addressing system, I know government has done some you know um, um, uh, uh, solutions in there. So we, we hope that you it's, need more. we need more of that. Right. Yeah. So my last question goes to you, Mr. Yeah. Norbert. You are an SME. You just started your business some few months ago. And there are a lot of people who are into this line of business. How uh, are you ensuring that you are creating visibility? You are creating, you're creating credibility. You're creating that brand that people can quickly run to you and patronize what you're selling. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, one key thing, I think I agree fully with what he said about the issue about land, mm -hmm. getting the land and then as a, a related person you have to go in there and go and service it. Right. Now, the trust is the issue because uh, one key thing is for us starting, we didn't get the money. There's no money available. So, and nobody's going to give you a startup, a real estate startup for that matter, a loan mm -hmm. to go and get That's into a nice land. Thing. Yes, <laughs> go, and go, and go into a land that you're not sure of. Mm -hmm. So you have to depend on family and friends that will try to mobilize something for you. So if they, the same family and friends, they also have friends. So that's what we leverage on. They also have friends that they trust because of them. Okay. They, they, so we approach those friends to be able to sell to them. I get the point. Mm -hmm. So one, but one making thing, thing that we use is the social media. Okay. We use the social media a lot, the Facebook, the WhatsApp. Every morning mm -hmm. I try to go onto my upload. status, upload the pictures mm -hmm. of the land, mm -hmm. and then try to get people to, mm -hmm. to, 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 to buy. But one other thing is that we want to look at affordable housing. Okay. But I also think it's a cliche. Affordable housing, af yeah. houses are not <laughs> affordable in Ghana. I see. Yes, we're trying to do. So let, we'll see how it goes a step at a time. Mm. I believe we'll get there. Mm. All right, so, Mr. Nyame, we are wrapping up. Okay. Your last words to SMEs who didn't have the opportunity like Norbert to be on the show with you. Your last words to them, especially those who might want to venture into this line of business. Are you open to mentorship? How can we find you? And uh, what other information would you want to give viewers? So yeah, I mean, I, I would say, you know, people should keep, you know, uh, trying to solve problems. Um, sometimes they should try to f find smart problems to solve. Um, it's, again, because we are in this market where, you know, it's not very attractive one. Um, the market is not so big, so ideally investors would look at all these variables, you know, before they would want to pump in their money. They should also look at the team 
they, they work with, you know, they should find the right people who are willing to, to, to spend, invest two, three years solving that problem. And then look at industries where investors are putting their money in more. Because again, you, at the end of the day, you know, it's either you're generating money from the business internally or you have to rely on investors to, to grow the business. And then the only way you can know which investors are investing in which markets is you can go online and read. There are a lot of, there's a lot of data on, you know, investment that were made in Africa and then you see the, the different, you know, um, industries. So it's, it's, I think you should look at that as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. So viewers, this is where we wrap up on today's conversation on online business yeah. and uh, specifically we had a chat with the CEO of Mekasa.com. He's a CEO and co-founder of Mekasa.com, Kelvin Yami, and he enlightened us about what they do, what their space is all about. This show was proudly brought to you by Vanguard Assurance. We always stand by you. We have tailored made insurance product your car your house workmanship if you're traveling and you want an insurance um, cover just walk into Vanguard Assurance they're there to give you all that protection you need to go and come back and remember your jollof rice and light tube and all the gravy stew to make it richer and delicious it's all about little man to paste Thank you so much for watching this episode. Next week, I'll come your way again with another powerful, powerful entrepreneur to enlighten you, to give you an update of what is trending in their line of business. Until then, it's a bye for now. Thank you so much Thank for joining you. us on Beast Trends. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.